Welcome to a Command and Conquer cast between Rushnagar 206 as Nod versus AOD Gaming as GDI. AOD Gaming has a ever so slightly faster start than Rushnagar and going into a couple of Grenadiers immediately. We'll also have Refinery up slightly earlier. And the reason I know that is because, well, I have already tried to watch this game twice. Of which, the first time it crashed and the second time I did actually end up finishing it. So I'm a little bit scared that it is again going to crash, because for some reason, if a game crashes once, it likes to crash a lot of times, for me at least. And start is not that that interesting. AOD Gaming has some scouting, Rushnagar does not yet. And there it is. Apache. Apache is out. Only has to like kill 10 grenadiers in order to make its cost. Which should not do be too difficult because there are quite a lot of grenadiers here. And just dealing with it is really annoying. I have actually asked Critical Mads in one of his live streams, like, how do you deal with Apaches or Orcas? And he just said, well, don't. Just make sure you have the better economy. Which, at the moment, AOD Gaming does have, with three refineries versus just. Actually, also three. Never mind. Although this one was up later, I think. So, okay, right now not really that better economy. And in that case, scary scary to have an Apache against you. Already cleaning up so many of these Grenadiers. And there is the Ashrip. And here is Weapons Factory. Up at almost the same time. Spidering on over here. I thought I saw spidering, but I guess not. Unless that was like right there. Anyways, Light Scout or Humvee just driving in here, but getting shot by the Apache. And that actually does surprisingly a lot of damage. I didn't really realize that that much against Humvees, but I guess it does. Also, first turret is out here. Because, of course, they know enemy is going into weapons factory, so probably, actually no, they just know they are going into tanks. In which case, getting up a couple of swords can be really effective, as long as they actually attack over here. That's, of course, the problem with turrets, that if you don't have them in the right place, they are useless. Over there, first refinery is going to go down. Getting shot by Apache, getting shot by a lot of bikes, and this bike, well no, there was another bike actually then, probably didn't have to go down, I'd say. Here, second weapon factory and immediately selling off construction yard. Rash knows about this. And also knows about this engineer. As you will now notice, because he shot it. Two rocket soldiers, well, how much do they do against Apaches? Decent job, but yeah, if they're getting focused, Apache does live. That's the problem. And especially, like, that was 600 cash worth of rocket soldiers. And it did only half of a uh, Apache. That's not a lot. And also, this is a good ball of fire if it gets shot. Up top. AOD Gaming is also moving in, but right now I'm not going to focus on that, because this is the bigger fight. Even though that could actually do more, maybe. Over here, a lot of bikes, quite a decent amount of tanks actually, which is dangerous and, well, turrets weren't in range the entire time. And now they are. Turret 1 gets sold off, and another one pops up, almost like a Hydra. Now. Why don't you engage with your bikes? Not sure, but probably because you're dealing with this. So, hand of nod. Will it go down? It definitely should. And there it goes. What's sold off? Oh, well, 
Now finally bikes are running in. More bikes also arrived of course. And now one, two turrets left. Apache still has good ammo so we'll be able to take down multiple grenadiers here. And a couple of the tanks also go down to turrets. There goes the second to last one. So one more tank is out for AOD Gaming right there and two more will arrive soon. And Apache once again going to try and destroy a couple of grenadiers. Oh, okay, so then over here, well not a lot really happened. Construction yard was damaged and there might have been something destroyed, but I'm not even sure about that. That's why I didn't really want to focus on those couple of, I believe those were grenadiers. So let's see about this. Hand of Nod once again up here and dangerous because this um, harvester is going to run straight into the fire from these medium tanks. Over here, Grenadiers being shot by Apache. So now, bikes, where are you going? Well, you are not actually going anywhere, really. You're just bad pathfinding. That's the problem. So then, quite a good amount of units over there, and AOD Gaming does not really know about all of those. Yeah. A couple of grenadiers once again trying to be annoying, but not really succeeding because of an Apache and a couple of buggies. So, four tanks here, and only one weapons factory left, of course. I think I actually missed it this time around. Maybe. No, I, well, this is the one I meant. Well, Harvester, does it go, does it go down? Not yet. And now, however, switching to the weapons factory, which should go down. After which, bikes should just run away and get a kill here. After should once again go down, unless these forces are pulled right now. Which they're not, because they are also going to take down a harvester. But then the one for Rash. And now run with your buggy bikes. So... Apache still doing a good job, definitely made it cost. So the game crashed at 7.25 last time, so it might look a little bit weird. Depends on how I edit this. Anyways, Apache is once again getting some great value. Explosions from Grenadiers and boom, there goes another. Only three bikes, which are not exactly great against those, and they're sold off construction yard. That means three grand in the bank for Rash. And also a lot of buggies are over here. Of course, buggies aren't the best against tanks, right? But overwhelming numbers is also quite good, and there are still a couple of bikes in there. That means that AOD Gaming either has to like focus fire on the bikes, in order to not get damaged too much and otherwise, well, they aren't really going to get the best of that engagement. Look, bike, buggy, sorry, goes down in like about 5-6 shots from a medium tank. But who cares about that? If your enemy only has like 3 refineries, while well you have, I think, more, 1, 2, 3, 4 at least, and over here, medium tank goes down. Couple of bikes over here, not doing anything, really annoying of course, and that should mean another harvester goes down. What does AOD Gaming have? Yeah, not really anything, does he? And that is a partial sell-off and a full sell-off. And now it is just going to be waiting a while because I'm pretty sure they were, would have been talking about what AOD Gaming should have done better. And I say that because, well, they're not moving in for the kill, and AOD Gaming isn't doing anything. So probably just discussing what AOD Gaming should have done better in order to win this game. Or maybe just complaining about the Apache because it does so much damage. I don't know exactly what happened in this last minute, 
so even though Rash went for the Apache, his economy was still better. So well done that you made it this far into the video, consider watching the video in your lower left, but that's all I'm going to have for you today, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!